Today we're breaking down some Chuck Berry style licks and playing in general. New ukulele tutorials every single Wednesday and Saturday, so subscribe if you like this kind of content. You do not need an electric ukulele to play. Low G, high G, soprano, tenor, it's all good. You can get printable tabs by becoming a Patreon if you really like this lesson and all our lessons. Links up here in the notes. Additional links in the description, including my email for some one-on-one -on -one lessons. Let's do it. Grab your ukulele, whatever kind you got, brain and attention span, follow me on in, and let's go ahead and break down how to play like the father of rock and roll come on in dominant plays on rock and roll now rock and roll isn't the blues but it does follow especially early rock and roll a lot of times a 12 bar blue loop so 12 bar blues loop excuse me so we're going to be using three chords d7 one chord g7 our four chord and our a7 which will be Our five chord, no matter what shape you use, right? No, oops. There it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the classic Chuck lick, which is very, very Chuck Berry. And we're going to rest on the one. In your own playing, experiment with resting on the one. Not everything has to start on the one. When I very first started playing, everything I did, one, right on the first beat. And then I started that kind of one, two, three, and four, and one, which also sounded really good. But later I started playing one, two, and that element of surprise is really nice. So we're gonna come in on the second beat and slide third fret of the E and A strings up to the five. And we're gonna play them three times as a triplet. One, two, pola. And then we're gonna bend seventh fret up to nine. One of the cool things about electric ukuleles is the extra tension makes them much easier to bend. That's a pretty big bend if you're playing on a regular tenor or any other size acoustic ukulele. So just do your best. If it's not right in pitch, that's okay. One, two, pola, three. One, one, two, pola, three. It's cool because it screams a little bit, especially if I put it on the bridge pickup screams even a little more so now what we're gonna do is follow that with the triplet one two pola three pola one two pola three pola seven seven of the G and C strings fifth fret of the C and then six which sets you up for this D7 shape one, two, pola, three, pola, four, and one. Then we're going into a shuffle. Right when you get the six, make the D7 and give it a down up. And then you're going to get your ring finger on the B note, seventh fret of the A string, uh, E string, excuse me. Which is a cool. shuffle actually this chord alone is what's called a d13 13 is just a fancy way of saying six and six is just a fancy way of saying okay two and three and four two and three and four and one one two pola three pola four and one two and three and four and one two pola three pola four and one two and three and four and one so basically that idea just happens two times let's do it one more time nice and slow one two pola three pola four and one two and three and four one two pola three pola four and one two and three and four and one now we're into the middle four g7 i know we said g7 but we are using this g7 up here down and then 
we are playing these two notes here. Now you can use the bar or you can dig in with just seventh and eighth fret here and it's two and you want to try to bend this eighth. Now it's really hard to bend that without bending the other string so don't worry if you bend them both and it's two and rest on the three two and three and four and one one two and three and four and one into a cool little shuffle fifth fret here g string S seventh fret fifth fret that's a d note and an e note nice little shuffle right there so those two measures nice and slow we would get one two and three and four and one two and three and four and one back to our original idea now we're into the turnaround we're gonna start off fourth fret right here of the a string fifth fret of the E and now we're doing eighth notes one and two and three third beat is two and three one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one there it is then we're gonna come down sixth fret fifth fret you can use the same one and two and three and four and one same fingers, kind of same position, just move up. One and two and. One and two and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. Then we're in the turnaround. This time we're gonna start with the bend and we're gonna go one pole up, two pole up, three pole up, four. One pole up, two pole, well, one pole up, two pole up, three pole up, four pole up, four pole up. Bend seven, five, back to seven and five. Well, one pole up, one, well, sorry. Four pole up, one. No, goodness gracious, sorry. Four pole up, one and two one and two and three and one and two and three and i'm doing an upstroke on that a one and two and three and so just the second half nice and slow one pole uh, two pole uh, three pole uh, four pole uh, one and two and three and all four measures nice and slow. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three, four. One pole, two pole, three pole, four pole, one and two and three and. Noise. Let's try to play all four. I was playing take the whole thing from the top Jesus. whole thing from the top one two three four one two pull a three pull a four and one two and three and four one two pull a three pull a four and one two and three and four one two and three and four and one two and three and four and one two pull a three pull a four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one pull a two pull a three pull a four pull a one and two and three and woo pretty killer stuff that's rock and roll in the style of Chuck Berry, folks.
he's such a beast. I love his music. He really, you could, and I like watching the transition of him and his evolution of playing as well. You can go through the catalog and start kind of with the lighter rock and roll, and he turns it up. The stories of him are legendary too. He sound like a terrible guy to hang out with, just an awful guy to be around. He sure could play the guitar. All right, until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. If you like what we do, hit subscribe. If you love it, think about becoming a Patreon, cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. And until next time, rock and roll and have a lovely day. Take care.